All right, see if this works. So a user on the forum named Doge Z or Doge Z says, "Need ideas? Hello, I need any idea what to build. Better to build, build and maybe hard." And one user, I G E O T, says a cyclocopter, and he says he has an idea of how to make it. I can't really understand the way he describes it, but I googled what a cy cyclo um, gyro looks like, and that's this thing. So I'll, this is the maiden voyage. I haven't tried it out yet. It's it's essentially um, these two rotors spin the uh, the wings rather than spinning a helicopter blade. So because wings provide lift the idea is that by spinning them quickly you'll have four wings that will somehow gain lift it it all sounds like a perpetual motion machine to me which you know are all fake so uh we're gonna check this out and see what it does i've got four wings mounted on uh free spinning rotors with um little thrusters inside to make them spin and uh, we're gonna see if this thing rips itself apart or if it just sits here and does nothing um, sure looks neat but it's not uh, you can spin the rotors around it's not really doing anything um, hmm. not really doing anything so let's try I'm gonna pop a motor on the on the back well first off let's do the obvious thing and just give this thing more engines and just pop some engines on the sides too there we go Oh, that doesn't work. But that's curved, so that shouldn't grab onto it. First, we're just going to jack up the power and see what this does here. Not spinning any faster, I guess it just makes the thrust have more power. Okay. So that didn't work. Now let's try removing all these engines here and putting some sort of a, uh, a pusher on there. Maybe, maybe if I put wheels on, and we'll see what it does with the wheels. We'll see what adding wheels does to it. So now it can move. Nothing. It's not getting any thrust at all. It's just kind of there. It doesn't seem. To, uh, no. Turning with the uh, RCS doesn't do anything. It sure looks cool. Like it looks really cool. It's just not doing anything. Um, hmm. Okay. Banjo Kazooie, this is not. <laughs> That's a nuts and bolts thing. You could do crazy stuff in nuts and bolts, but uh, physics seem to be at work here. So, I guess we'll try slapping an engine on the back and see if we can at least get this thing to. Uh, see if these wings will give it any sort of flight flight ability uh, I'll just put a regular blasto on it I guess
That's not centered. That's close to be centered. Oops. There we go. Check the uh, check the weight. Positioning of the weight. Uh, center of mass, center of lift. Yeah, whatever. Let's see if this does anything. Well, it does that. But that's only because the uh, engine on the top is causing it to fall forwards. So then now we have that. We need to make it heavier. I guess we'll do that. Center of mass and thrust. Um, I'll just put some wheels on. Maybe we can make get this thing at least airborne. Airborne really poorly. <laughs> but airborne anyways. And we'll just put these little tiny wheels back on here again. There we go. Okay. <laughs> well, um, okay. Let's say my, my flaps are, wait a minute, let me see here. Um, oh, that's all set to turning. Okay. Well, let's try setting all these wings to a uh, pitch. that does okay I don't think this stupid thing's gonna fly. If someone can get the stupid thing to fly without using VTOL thrusters underneath it, I mean, it would look cool, but uh, that's really it. Like, it looks kind of, you know, dragonfly-like, I guess. But uh, I think looks are all it's got going for it. I don't think this is really the type of thing that would that's, that would be useful in the real world. Let's try one more thing here. I know it's not going to work. I'm just repositioning the engine so that it so that it like just sort of no, no, can I put it here? Oh, wait. Oops. There we go. Maybe we can put it there. There. Now it at least doesn't look as loopy as it did. Well, it's going straight now because of the uh, engine balancing, I guess. It's kind of going straight. Can I pull up? Pull up. Pulling up doesn't do anything. Um, we're not pulling up. Oh, maybe. Well, let's see what happens when we drive off the cliff. When in doubt, go off the cliff. Oh, 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 that's not good. Right, so I watched a video on YouTube of one of these darn things actually flying. 
and they had the rotor spinning towards the center um, at opposite directions like a grinder so let's see what this does now in the video it was spinning really quickly and I think um, it might have been spinning too fast for it to be useful um, these things obviously aren't spinning fast enough, nearly as fast enough as they should for it to really be useful. So maybe I just need to up the up the uh, engine count here. Okay, let's try that out. You know, I guess if you could get something like this to work, you know, it's probably just too heavy. Um, it would, like I said, it would look really cool. But for the amount of thrust that you need to put onto these rotors, you could just be using thrusters. <laughs> you get what I mean? I mean, look how fast my fuel is going down. Other than the coolness factor, it's really inefficient um, until um, simple planes creators can add motorized rotors. Right now, the rotors can only go 180 degrees in either direction. And so until they give us you know, like the base, base engine piece of just the rotor, you know, so that we can make our own propellers and things spinning at high velocity. Something like this is not going to work. Like I said, it's it could just be really heavy. Maybe you can get it spinning fast enough. If you can get it spinning fast enough, um, go ahead and try. And uh, I'll upload both of these planes to... Uh, to the thing, and uh, whatever, that's an idea. Like I said, it sure looks cool. I mean, if you put rockets on the end of these things instead of wings, you'd have a rotating Gatling turret of rockets, which would look super cool. But uh, this isn't flying. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a good night.